Welcome back to Te Tarik Our As always It's me the Singaporean I'm the Malaysian <laughs> I'm Azrin as always I'm This Akit. is Akit um, Wow What a what a week huh? <laughs> What an unexpected week for our Small little broadcast here For something to happen on our content lah We Unexpected lah To say the least is it mm. I, I don't know about you lah, but, but for me uh, I mean If you're watching You probably know that We posted a video called The uh, Malaysia vs Singapore The Jocelyn Chia saga And talking about Jocelyn Chia lah mm. To be honest uh, That content I never consider it to be Our greatest content Or anything like that lah It just We just do normal lah Alright mm-hmm. uh, And Apparently It did a bit too well <laughs> uh, and it, it, it really gained the attention of viewers and uh, for that we are very grateful for people who watch the video and we are very thankful that you took the time to actually watch and a lot of you even commented on the video and uh, even gave a bunch of likes which you know <laughs> a lot more than we deserve I, I assume I, I, I believe lah, for my personally but thank you for those who watch and uh, yeah it was quite unexpected <laughs> <laughs> And it, it because the um, this Jocelyn is a very hot topic in I mean between in KL and uh, Singapore la. So we a, a lot of people who are search these videos and Jocelyn topic. Maybe we are the the Jocelyn will bring the brightness to us. <laughs> I mean we're thankful for Jocelyn <laughs> as well. <laughs> la, for just giving us this boost the also opportunity la. to push it <laughs> to push it also and also to push our content to become like this. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's a quite unexpected response. <laughs> But however, uh, we we saw some uh, comments uh, under the the videos la. I mean, I always enjoy this, you know, like yeah, uh, enjoy the interactive, right? The, the interaction of uh, commenters and chat and viewers as well. Mm. Like it's it's like it gives us discussion la, and also gives us content because we can <laughs> use your comment to our advantage basically <laughs> <laughs> and okay but first things first uh, it's okay no, no, we'll, we'll just go through the comments first uh, and, the first comment I, I want to say is, is it, the, the very latest comments like is the first one okay it's so we go for the latest uh. <laughs> uh, the latest one uh, is mentions Asrin is not the singer uh, no Asrin is not the the Malaysian Is the Singaporeans right? And so, it's mentioned. <laughs> so the quite the comments is like, uh, why is the Malay guy speaking in a Chinese accent? He's he's Singaporean, isn't he? Ah, uh, yeah, something. Like I'm that. Uh, I'm sorry to disappoint anyone watching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, I am purely Malaysian. <laughs> yeah, we are purely Malaysian. We are both of us are purely Malaysian. So even though I would argue, uh, yeah, uh, Akit is more Singaporean because he <laughs> he lived in Singapore for quite some time. I've never lived in Singapore. I've visited Singapore. I, 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 I do believe I have some Singaporean friends. Maybe not anymore. Used to lah. I I think because you you speak to me a lot, uh, quite often, it become the the slang. My slang become your slang. No, uh, okay. Funny thing, you want to say that I have I've always had this slang since I was young. This this is just not natural for me actually. You born to be Singaporean slang, is it? No, <laughs> I don't. Is is that's the thing? I also didn't know that this is called Malay Malay, uh, slang in in Singapore. And we have to make a one the others uh, I mean, so one episode is talking about the, the Singapore slang. English and the Malay English. What's the difference? I think the, the both of the countries are uh, is similar, right? The similar is the English also quite similar. Only the I I believe like in Singapore they maybe use a Hokkien the Hokkien slang and be like, oh. Chubo, this kind of thing. Ah, maybe it's a chio. I mean, here is more like Cantonese uh, slang. Cantonese or lang. Oh, we are using here is lang. La or, 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 or. Yeah. But la also is quite common with with Singapore as well, right? Mm-mm. But I I feel like their la is slightly different. I guess intonation maybe. I mean, you would know like you live there longer than uh, me. I, I, I seriously, I'm because. I speak to I automatically change one. Well, I'm speak to uh, the Sing- Singapore people, the Singapore uh, friends. They are they are speak to me differently than you. Differently you also, than uh, yeah, yeah, I also change the channel. It would be different. Then there I is called the, there is actually a term for that. It's called code switching. Switching your code to fit where you are. Like it's, maybe you notice and you picked up. Sometimes I speak my English is a bit more uh, quiet style lah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes and and when I'm when I'm talking to my friends who are from like international school or something like that. 
my language, my accent switch to fit mm-hmm. there. Yes. But when I'm talking to you, ah, uh, then you see, I I also change a bit, right? Uh, uh, But that's because it's natural for me to talk like this, so I switch my code already. Uh. Oh. Then if I'm talking to Malay, lah, I can also be talking like. Macam Malay lah Macam Malay Biasa lah Macam biasa om, om, om Melayu biasa kan mm-hmm. I can also switch like that It's just that it's normal for me to switch Because I just grew up that way what? Uh, This is no comment to Between Singapore I mean, accent battle say, Or Malaysia's not to say accent one is, battle huh? It's not say one is good Or one is uh, bad no It's just good, no bad. Different people have uh, I, I I used to think lah Like people who switch Accent like this is like trying to show off, right? Right? right. People mm-hmm. tell me like, "Oh, why are you speaking English like this?" Or why, why like? You see, someone want to show is speaking off, like, like UK slang and and like in, in, in the city. Right, so what? Wow, damn UK style, <laughs> <laughs> British, British language, <laughs> British, <laughs> so British, <laughs> bloody hell, bloody well. <laughs> <laughs> But actually, slang is just accent is just different lah. Just how as long as you feel comfortable talking, it's just and yeah, it's the best way for you to convey your feelings. Doesn't really matter lah. But I tell you, man, when I read that comment, <laughs> it's like, is this how Malaysian speak in Singapore? Man, they have this accent. <laughs> I also <don't> know. <laughs> I think this is not very important lah. But anyway, Asrin is local, yes, purely I am, I, Malaysian I, Malay. We, okay. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> yeah, make, make make the the audience disappoint. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe disappointed or maybe excited. <laughs> Definitely not not relevant enough <laughs> for it to become that into an issue. But yes, I am Malaysian. Uh, Aki also is pure Malaysian as well. Uh. Mm-hmm. I don't think we will change our citizenship anytime soon. Uh. Despite what it may look like, <laughs> <laughs> why we want to change our citizens? So <laughs> if you don't agree us as Malaysian anymore. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't think so, lah. I mean, uh, we are Kuala Lumpurian, lah. Yeah, uh, that's that's for sure. Lah. We are KL boys, ah, <laughs> KL boys through and through, man. We are KL one four, you know, one <laughs> four for life. But uh, yeah, there's there is a bunch of comments here. That is like one of the funny ones. That there were a, a couple of comments talking about Justin Chia herself, lah. And I would agree most of the comments, uh, mm-hmm. in general, saying that, you know. I mean, I guess it's not supposed to be surprising that even Singaporeans also don't like Justin Chia. <laughs> yeah, we surprised. Yeah, like there's no one defending her at all. Like in in the comments between like Malaysian and Singaporeans, and uh, even in the news itself, lah. Like Singaporeans have have uh, mentioned High Commissioner, mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know, apologize for her remarks. And apparently, uh, one of the commenters said, uh, the reason why she's not Singaporean is not because of this joke, but. She's uh, already like not really a Convert Singaporean. To, uh, 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 she's US American decent. citizenship uh, apparently. I don't know if that's officially that she is an American now, because you know she she still use Singapore as her background in her comedy. So I I thought that she was still Singaporean up until you know the joke lah, but it seems that's not the case. And a lot of people also mentioned that the uh, uh, the way that she uses her joke is is very like insulting, very mean. It's mm-hmm. not really. You know, uh, not really the spirit of of comedy, lah. Um, for me, maybe the speech for her is quite uh, it's a mean. It's talking about the the tragedies things, lah. Beside of that, um, now I know, lah. She <laughs> why <laughs> why. <laughs> She no, uh, she will not apologize and not uh, say so sorry. Look, I mean, okay, I I I watched back the video, right? Mm-hmm. And I did mention to you that that at one point there was somebody uh, uh heckling her lah. Mm-hmm. But looking back, right, the heckler wasn't really much of a heckler lah. It's just a Mal- Malaysian who just like excited about when you mention Malaysia. Same like you know when you see in the movie someone mention Malaysia, you would say oh Malaysia, woo like that one. Huh? And her response to that is. Too much lah. She she got a bit too uh uh, ang- I don't know. She got too mean with that guy for some reason. And I she said it's just part of the act that she normally does lah. But again, it it, it just feels mean in nature lah. So yeah. I I I don't know. And it But seems like we also saw saw some comments. Is asked the ask if let's say Malaysians uh are so happy. Is asked us to protest in the U.S. of MOC or some things. <laughs> that is okay. I <laughs> that is a bit too much lah. Honestly, what does that have to do with the U.S. at all? 
But uh, seriously, who I think US also don't care about this thing. I mean, <laughs> I surprisingly they covered the mainstream media covered this man. See, she did interview with CNN and BBC, you know. <laughs> but I mean, the government side. Do I I don't think the gov. But that is media lah. It's uh, not nothing media. to do with government also. <laughs> and yeah. so the again the AMLO youth want to protest and then the commenters said that we should protest the U.S. embassy. Kind of missed the mark lah. It's it's not really the point then. But for us as a Malaysian, do you think it's worth it to spend so many time and so much efforts if because had these people and had this uh Jocelyn and because he she mentioned some words is wrong. Is it really we we want to spend so many efforts? To, to, to cover this thing or to I mean to, to protest or to cover back our Malaysia yeah we are right we, we don't defend are, ourselves defend like this ourselves, right. ourselves, yes. but I, I okay honestly I don't think so man yeah, I, too, too much this right? is a bit too much I believe like the, the, the response the backlash as, we, as I mentioned in the previous episode we, we don't need to give this much response lah. to the point like recently uh, uh, I, someone uh, uh, I don't know a politician I guess uh, said that they want PDRM Police Diraja Malaysia our police uh, <laughs> system to start an invest- investigation on Jocelyn Chia Invest- what? why? What? <laughs> what? why? why are you focusing on Jocelyn Chia so much? you know who would be a, a better target uh, if you want to go to You're PDRM terrorist, isn't it? I, I, <laughs> yeah, t- I did t- is she is trying to attack Malaysia I don't know man the she K- sounds like a terrorist or- right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, rather than that why not just focus their energy on finding I don't know maybe finding Jolo <laughs> yeah Jolo <laughs> Jolo yeah. there is a much more useful uh, uh, resources <laughs> but, but actually that will be much more useful <laughs> but uh, again they want to start an investigation on Justin Chia uh, on PDRM but what's the point of that what what will that accomplish? La? Like what are you gonna do? Bring her here and put her in jail in Malaysia, is it? <laughs> for, for what? For for making that joke, is it? Comedy not allowed anymore, la, at that point, is it? And because of face. The Malaysia okay, face. But let me be clear. What she did is not really good comedy, la. I will admit that. But to for her to go to jail for it, a bit too much, la. okay. <laughs> <laughs> or I, 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 again I don't even know what's the purpose of the investigation like, I assume if you start an investigation with police it's to put them to jail right <laughs> that's the whole point <laughs> but again <laughs> fine is it necessary you are uh, maybe our securities in Malaysia because this girl is talk so much in, in back to Malaysia make our society become real <laughs> <laughs> what? like the purchase uh-huh. <laughs> everyone to kill each other <laughs> like that <laughs> Bro, I think it's a bit too much. La. Yeah, this thing too much. Eh? Uh, but <laughs> to not just say on our side, on Jocelyn Chia's side as well, her response is... Seriously, we are not trying to protect... We're not trying to defend her. Uh, defend and protect her, but... Both sides is criticised here, okay? We, we are talking both sides mm, needs to be yes. looked on. And for ourselves, we I think a lot of the reaction is a bit out of blown out of proportion. Like, again, investigation, protesting at US Embassy and all this... It, the, Definitely unnecessary. But on Jocelyn Chia's side herself, she is not even, you know, feeling sorry about this. Man. Yeah, this is also make us very <laughs> this is, mad. This is what annoys me the most, man. Yeah, you just say a sorry and then, oh, because... Uh, just I say, make, yeah, okay, I, 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 out of, uh, I, I made a mistake in what I said in that joke. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's like, uh, I, I wasn't aware of people's sensitivity or what. And move on. Uh. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think it's because, oh, is this topic make the, me to become more famous? Then make you more famous. Right? That, this that, kind okay. of attitude, you know? That's the thing, man. Like, yes, I, I cannot deny that when you push the hot button more, it becomes more hotter, ma, right? Mm. You become the hot button, you know that is the way that you explode, so you want to keep pushing, so you explode more. Ma. But is that the right explosion, man? Is that the right way? <laughs> now, I, I, we might be hypocritical here la, because we are also using her <laughs> <laughs> maybe push ourselves as well. But for her, right? For her, maybe, I don't know, maybe in some, some way he, he wants to become a movie star or whatever so because of this thing. Hey, but she's also already in the entertainment business. Ma. She, I think she done like a lot of hosting job. She done a lot of comedy mm. uh, things and, and all that. I, I think she's quite established in the US comedy circuit there la, or entertainment circuit there la. I mean you see her webpage it's so professional and she got a talent agency and whatnot. so Mm-mm-mm. I think she's quite established uh. now it become more famous but now is 
Lagi famous. Famous or infamous? Lagi best. Infamous <laughs> is like you are famous for bad things, you know. <laughs> yeah. Is that worth it, though? No? That kind of notoriety for, for you? And again, like her response to it is like very. I don't know, man. She could do better, la, at least. Ignoring. Not say ignoring. She, she literally say, oh, the PDRM inter- investigation, ah, good, bring it on. Makes me even more famous. That's her response to it, man. Like, doesn't seem like she regretted it at all. Ah. And rather that like, she doubled down and, and want to become more famous because of the... Yeah, I didn't see her have, have a regret from her face, you know. <laughs> Some, someone said uh, <laughs> someone said like uh, in the comment you know like uh, if she was pretty it's okay la, but now but her face look like that cannot hey, she she's 39 right and it's not mistaken 39 39 uh? Uh, 39 I think it's still keep very well right <laughs> do you 39 know? actually not bad la. not bad no? 39 you show 39 la? not 29 is it not 29 39 <laughs> yeah, but, but 39 you see the girls uh, 39 are uh, the the speech and the reaction is not like the denial. <laughs> <laughs> what immature bit is it? <laughs> immature. Bit. I don't know. Don't know. Hey, I. <laughs> but U.S. people, U.S. citizens, this is different from between. Okay, do you think she like completely become U.S. citizen, man? I I, I don't know, like It sounds like she's still very Singaporean to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she was defending. Yeah, si- she was uh, really pushing the idea. Oh, you know how sad she was to. Uh, how sad? Uh, what Lee Kuan Yew was. <laughs> It's very sad to me also. Uh, now it's a three point five, you know. <laughs> the currency <laughs> comparison, right? <laughs> Malaysia in comparison. Uh, that we are set on that part, la. But you know, her talk about the separation of Singapore and Malaysia uh, at yeah. that time, she mm. was like, "Oh, a prime minister or president, prime minister at that time was was uh, uh, so sad that Malaysia is separating from Singapore and all this nonsense." The time uh. is in the history, la. They one also sixty years, uh, forty years back. Yeah, I mean. For her to be that passionate about it, I think she probably is thinking that she's still Singaporean. La. Yeah. I don't know now. La. Maybe she now won't, won't bring that material anymore. La. Won't defend Singapore anymore. But for her also not very difficult after, after I mean, after independence. I, I think it's the, the, he, her, the, her parents maybe will face the, the difficulties. La. Not for her, la. Nothing so much. I mean, yeah, she already moved out of Singapore. She's, st- she's living in, in the US right now. So, for her, this is just, you know, building her reputation only, lor. So, in, 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 in any case, right? Mm-mm. Right now, for Jocelyn Chia, she can just continue riding this hatred, lor. Which is, you know, it is a technique. Is it a good technique? Is it a good way? I don't think so, lor. <laughs> but if that gets you the bag, if that gets you the money, then who am I to say, yeah? Mm-mm. And uh, a lot of commenters, again, which is I find surprising to see that there's overwhelmingly is everyone against her. I don't think there's anyone defending her uh, in the comment section. Uh. Which is, you know, I, I, I assume at least one or two person would say like, oh, it's just a joke uh, or, or defend her, something like that. But nope. Everyone really don't like Justin Cha anymore. <laughs> because her face. <laughs> I mean... Mean face. <laughs> That's that's a bit that's a bit rude, bro. <laughs> that's not common on people's faces, man. We are not exactly the the most handsome people. Also. No, no, no. I'm I'm not saying handsome or pretty. You know, yeah. Some people's uh, the mean is a bit put oh, her, on the, yeah, on the, the mean face, look uh, like mean look or put on the face. You know. <laughs> you know, last time people always say the resting bitch face. You know. <laughs> 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 and turns out these people are just normal people. Yeah. Then yeah, yeah. you know we can then you cannot. They, they say, don't judge a book by its cover. Okay. Oh. Unfortunately, this book is not really but a the nice cover, book. Also. The <laughs> caption already make the people judge the book, ma. You know. Also true. Also. Yeah, because the <laughs> caption there. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the caption tragedy. also not nice also. <laughs> la. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this yeah. is saga. And <laughs> I mean, again. Yeah, we 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 are. T- Actually, not much thing uh, to her really. La. We are just follow up, see what Jocelyn will be. And we're uh, just trying to use it again for our video. La. <laughs> <laughs> no, la, just, yeah, just follow up what, what her, her latest news. Mm. Mm. But between, because today we actually we have also come up with some, some topic if saying between uh, Malaysia and Singapore. La. I mean, that's the interesting comparison, I think. Like, mm, uh, the comparison. Uh, like, I guess. 
for the longest time, Malaysia and Singapore has always been uh, a Brother, rival, uh, bra- brotherhood. So yeah. Rivalry there, but mm. we are still like same, I guess. Same. We, I think it's more, more or less we are same. La. You, you we see, are very uh, unique, con- uh, unique country, uh, countries uh, because like we are two different countries, yet we are very similar. We are similar. Because like, what other countries that you see have the same build up of like, between Singapore and Malaysia, we comprise of three different races that are uh, that that it, that mix all different cultures together, and yeah. we still survive for a long time, Mm-mm. and and we are uh, uh, yeah. we able to speak English, it's English, not like Thailand, uh, not yes. like Indonesians and uh, Bahasa and Chinese, yeah, yeah in the three type of different uh, language, we are put in the MRT and uh, we are commonly used in the the public, and then we are sp- speak to person who are who are in Malay and Chinese and English, we are able to do communication very well. It is a very unique, mm, unique situation. Things, la, yeah, and, yeah. and I don't think there's any other country it's like that. Singapore and Malaysia, what I'm thinking this very, uh, for us like Malaysians, like, when, when in Singapore, it because uh, the Singapore is a Chinese, uh, uh, the conduct, the, the government. In, I've been ha- come back to Malaysia. Malaysia is uh, more Malay to conduct the, the government. This is the difference. And then, Malay, Malaysia here, the Malay, I mean the governments and the, the, the politicians, people ha, who, who are used the tools, who are split out our, our, our races and become more, we are head, head each other. Actually, it's nothing. It's all about the, the leadership and how they the use the tool. La. And because Malaysia is big, bigger than Singapore a lot, so they are using a tool, I mean, to split out the park, it's like a kick. La. It's split, split, split. So maybe some deep, Place like uh, Kelantan, it will be, it will be different. The more the population Malay day, so there were different. It's some of different. Like like us, we stay in Kuala Lumpur. We are mostly it's like mix up, uh, mix like a Singapore. Balance mix, it's uh, uh, actually beside the currency, uh, <laughs> beside the salary, <laughs> okay, of course, of course. <laughs> beside the pay. Uh. Actually, actually, more and less, we eat roti canai, prata. Uh, we eat bakute, or they are also hot. Have maybe a black sauce, nasi yeah, ayam, white sauce, nasi ayam, chicken rice, same thing, nasi lemak. Our nasi lemak also better than them. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this one you cannot, cannot admit. <laughs> Some of the recent case of uh, what the, the UK is it or something, visit Singapore and try say, oh, Singapore uh, uh, nasi lemak is the best <laughs> or something. <laughs> you know the, the, the food, the Singapore food, right? the nasi lemak, they split out. Oh, this is sambal and then this is uh, the, the timun and then the, the pinas and the ikan pelis and the lo. We? Banjil. <laughs> we are called banjil, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Banjo with hey, all they, the, the curry sauce. Yeah, they, they might be ADHD, you know, autism. They they, they have their. <laughs> we cannot <laughs> judge them for that. Banjo, you know? and then you want samba? Bro, you Bro, want samba? Bro, samba. Oh, enough. La. <laughs> kacang. Ah. Okay, kacang. This is conversation. Okay, the only ah. thing that we are very, very contentious is about food. <laughs> <laughs> but we do share a lot of similarities in the food, right? The we get a lot of cultural things that we share there are similarities however that's not to say that they are not good and bad to each country la. let's take a perspective on some points of what the countries are like uh, public transportation yep let's compare that first uh, maybe if you've got other points you want to bring out like I don't know their, their housing okay. or For come to transportation what do you think the Malaysian transportation better or Singapore pr- transportation. I hundred percent will always say that Singapore has better public infrastructure infrastructure yes. compared to Malaysia. Mm-mm. Why? Because Mahade Mm-mm. and his wisdom decided that Malaysia should be a car country. One man, one, one man, one portong. I fucking hate this guy. Man. <laughs> one man, one <laughs> this, portong. This guy I decided that oh, we all should have a car. We are all so rich, bro. Only the your crony is rich, man. Okay, no, not everyone can yeah. afford a car, so that's why our public transportation, Chachat. tossed to the side. Actually, last time I remember my school times, I all got, I, my time is explore already. Got mini bus, intra quarter, all that. They you say know. want to bring back mini bus, you know. Yeah, serious, uh? Uh. Oh, mini bus, you say, so convenient, fucking convenient, you know. Now you can see, uh, you not jump inside the cars. Actually, you hardly to go to the place you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> if not no for grab, grab uh, if not for grab, uh, it's impossible for you to to live here without a car, uh. Correct. And even now, also, it's like 
even though we've established more, uh, we yeah, uh, add in the MRT, we add the MRT three, and improve that. It's still not going off because the accessibility towards these places very terrible. Singapore, on the other hand, you don't even need to have a car to to live in in Singapore. You can entire life not have a car. You can still yeah. get around anywhere in Singapore. <laughs> even if you want, you can just walk everywhere. Also, one <laughs> yes. But for public transport. In Malaysia, you're very good to drive. Why? You can see the highway. Actually, Malaysia highway, you see, uh, we are the, the best. ram, the we best one. We have the best. I mean, and, the I think best the, highways. The Asians, uh, if you're Asian country, uh, they think Malaysia, the highway built is very, very good. This is the, I'm uh, proud, the highway. Uh, the no, hi- any no, highway. Oh, no. I don't think highways are good. Highways are terrible because highways encourage car usage. Then everywhere requires you to have car. We are basically trying to become like America. And I don't want that, man. We should always improve our public infrastructure over highways. Sure, you can add in highways to go for long distance places, like from here to, I don't know, Johor Bahru, highway, Ngam. Highways in KL, you need, man. <laughs> Where are you going that you need highways in KL? Because the number of the car is so many, so have you have to drive to That's the highway? People think, people think like, oh, okay, uh, we have too many cars, so we need more highways. Eh, the highway not enough, huh? Okay, bigger highway. <laughs> yeah. That does not solve the issue, bro. <laughs> Someone you have to pay for the highway some more. But I, I just want to uh, emphasize our highway is the best in Asia. I feel proud also. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing to be proud of. Uh. <laughs> Maybe that's the thing we, we both don't agree on. He, you agree on, on, on highways. For me, no highways unless it's like long distance. That's the only highways we ever need. But the uh, reason uh, our public transport got some improvement. Uh. You can see we got the new MRT. That's why I said, uh. the new MRT. But <laughs> like I said, some train line still broken. How can you talk like that, man? Like seriously. So if we were to compare between Singapore and Malaysia, is Singapore actually their their public transport also the qualities are also running down? You know the green line. I remember the green line. Oh, that's broken one. The the what's line? The the green car. The green line is uh, from from where? Ah, Basiris. Ah, Basiris. That's the 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 line. Always is broken one. Yeah, I mean. It's unavoidable that things because break down. Oh, the, the MRT has yeah, uh, become got some edge already. I mean, again, that's that's understandable, but <laughs> we also have that issue as well. Every time it rains, Klanen Jaya line will get delayed 40-50 mm-hmm. minutes. Or KTM of Malaysia. Slight rain, you could wait over an hour <laughs> for a train. Like we're not that great either, man. So if we were to compare between Malaysia and Singapore. Well, hands down, Singapore public transportation yeah. is way better. But driving, yeah, we, maybe not. Mm-hmm. In Singapore, you want to own a car, you die lah, basically. But if <laughs> let's say in Singapore, you without this public transport, what else you got? What else? You, you know how much you can own your personal car? How you have to pay more than Malaysia three times then you get a personal car, you know, that private pr- transport. That nicely segues into maybe another point of between Singapore and Malaysia. Uh, like maybe like the, the, the cost of living, I guess. Or yeah, the or, cost of living. Like, I think that's where, uh, I guess Malaysia has a slight edge in terms of like living in a country. Because I feel like if because you we are, have more land than them. We are <laughs> <laughs> but we don't use it Properly, la. let's be real, okay? <laughs> we, waste <laughs> that, we waste them a lot. But if you were to think about the stress of life between living in Singapore and living in Malaysia... The accommodation, right? Accommodation. Just, okay, accommodation. Property prices. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, Malaysia now also quite expensive, but at least you have more choices. La. But recently, you see it's the Singapore's, the, the, the rentals, uh, the housing... The rentals uh, is crazy, crazy man. like hell, man. Like... Your thousand thousand ring uh, no thousand dollars uh, sing dollars uh, you just rent a uh, one stupid HDB room. That's the problem now happening in Singapore is that a lot of people buy property for invest for for renting for all this as, as a form of investment. Hyper capitalism at its point la. So it's gonna be stressful for you to even find a place in Singapore, man. If given the choice to live in Singapore and owning property with my current salary or something like that, I die, man. I cannot I don't, survive. We don't talk about the salary first. Now. That one, maybe we talk about later. You see, uh, you spend five hundred and six hundred thousand. Uh, you buy 
HDB and stay in your HDB. HDB is what? Called flats, you know. I mean, in, but it's still a good good conditions. Property, uh, of course, it's uh, okay. Compared to good Malaysia, condition. some of them. Hey, 500,000, you convert to Malaysia ringgit. How? You can okay, you, hey, can, hey, you hey. can buy a house, actually. <laughs> what house? Uh? So, maybe you also can go and get in KL, you know, bro. The cost, the cost of property is, is much more comp- you know, accessible in Malaysia. Someone you stay of course, in comfort. If, if, of course, if you earn in Malaysia, it's still quite expensive to buy a house. Lah. But, you know, if in comparison, you want to buy a house in Singapore, that's like, yeah. <laughs> you need to be a like crazy rich a, Asian. You know? Bro, this is the beauty of the Malaysian land. We have uh, so many land. We can have the house. Okay, okay. Lah. We, we don't talk about is it being catered? Is that mm. market being catered? Is people getting that property? Maybe not. But the, the possibility <laughs> is there lah, mm. compared to Singapore because let's, let's face it, Singapore is a small country. Yeah. Not a lot of land mass. Not much spaces, man. Maybe Johor join them to become a Johor Singaporean. <laughs> Johor jo- Singapore. Johor. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think Singapore really want that, man. Singapore I think really Johor, want... you, you think Johor Sudan don't want it? But it's never going to happen, man. Kazana all there, you know. That's, that's our bread and butter, okay? <laughs> We're not going to sell it that easily. La. You, you think Johor Sudan, you mentioned before, you know. You think your, your Johor Sudan They want to split out from Malaysia mainland? As if that will happen. <laughs> I didn't mean, this don't want to be happen. Huh? Don't don't don't, don't 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 talk bad about the Joe or anything. <laughs> but again, if you were to say like property prices between Singapore and Malaysia, hands down Malaysia is much more affordable compared to Singapore. Lah. If you were to try to even consider like buying a property in, in Singapore, unless you have like, you know, Good inheritance or your family can help pay. Huh? It's it's really hard to earn to to buy a place or even rent a place there nowadays. It's it's to the point where like there needs to be legislation to control people from you know the awesome. high high cost of renting and everything, man. Actually, is uh reason is because a lot of uh, Chinese, not not us uh, not not Chinese uh, the the China Chinese uh, PRC uh, uh, they buy all the property the uh, properties uh, and the Hong 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 Kong peoples to come. To Singapore and do an investment or whatever lah. A lot of the foreigner come and they make the the properties and the the um, the living cost make it higher lah. I think Singaporeans also suffer also because of some of my friends. Wow, them last it's time not even, it's impossible for them to get yeah, a place, right? It, because last time they are they are applying the HDBs. Uh, if let's say after the after marriage or thirty five years old and above, they can apply the HDB. They are easily to get a HDB. Now it's increased the price to couple for work they want to uh, the, the, apply the, the HDB the also the cost is very a lot, right? higher you know? like, and the problem is like as a Singaporean you can't go anywhere else to find a different place like okay me as a Malaysian like maybe I cannot afford a place in KL go US no? <laughs> <laughs> like to US like to just leave <laughs> sorry come back <laughs> <laughs> no, like, for, for me like if I'm in KL right I want to buy a, a property I can't afford in KL mm-hmm. I can just go to a different state. Huh? Maybe I'll go to Pahang mm-hmm. or maybe I'll go to Ipoh or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's much more affordable. Is it convenient? Maybe not, but I can still afford a place. I can still have options. Huh? Mm-hmm. Singapore, where they go? US. Huh? <laughs> no, they got islands one. They got one island is nearby. What, what islands? Huh? But, uh, the opposite of one islands. Huh? Got <laughs> the Pulau... What, 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 I don't know uh, Singapore got one islands one nobody stay one <laughs> what are you gonna do you're gonna build your own property <laughs> there <is it? laughs> the fishings like there's no place you can go except for Singapore to buy property yeah. what are you gonna do you go to yeah. Johor is it buy property uh? a lot bro really a lot yeah, but Johor not uh, a lot of empty or ghost towns there already ma, because they they wanted to build out all this property to cater to this market but then no one ever came <laughs> but, and because you see ah uh, it's one thing because the borders. Uh, every time, how how many oh, wow. times the, the, you the, take the, the, the time to the, come the, back the, to Malaysia? The bridge is always Six, busy, seven man. hours. Wow. You think wow, the, 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 the life is spent in the the in, in the, the You cosway, better lo. just live in the street. The, the, cosway, <laughs> the life. Uh. <laughs> you spend more days on the road rather than on, at home, man. Yeah. So yeah, in terms of like living uh, or, or property la, or, or, or accommodations, uh, Singapore, <laughs> not really good. I, I would say... By far, Malaysia is much more better in terms of like opportunities and actually finding places that they are within your range. Lah. 
realistically, of course, everywhere is getting more expensive. <laughs> to be real, <laughs> everything is more expensive. But if between Singapore and Malaysia, I think Malaysia is better in that in that stance, lah. But other than that, like what else between the difference of Malaysia and Singapore or can we talk about? I think like um, the clothes, the wearing, we wearing. I mean, okay, it's like, quite similar already. On that actually, one. I think I feel like we are quite similar in that sense right? because our weather is more or less the same one, no man. Because the currency, they are buy the shirt. Maybe it's ten ten dollar. We are buy here. It's like H H and M. We buy in. Yeah, but I thought more or less it's the same price one, isn't it? The price is same, but the 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 wages ah uh, will make the difference. You buy I mean, it, you choose the clothes. Maybe uh. you consider like the purchasing power there lah. Uh, nah, like for us, maybe uh buying a a H and M is considered luxury. For them, is considered like buying yeah he's normal a shit lah. Normal shit. Uh. I mean that's that's a currency aspect lah. Like you, they have better purchasing power to buy better things in that sense uh. But I feel like. Nowadays, most of those things are in parity. Uh. Mm. It is more or less the same, I, I guess. Not really much difference in Not that sense. Much, uh. yeah. But of course, when we still talk about currency, it is unavoidable to say Singapore is way better than us. The uh. highest in history. <laughs> it, is, it is unavoidable and I, I don't like to admit this as well. Uh. It, it is uh. something... Because it, it's, it's just annoying to me. Okay, 40 years a country like Malaysia with so much potential, so much natural resources, how the hell did we drop so far, man? <laughs> how? Like, uh, it just annoys me. Man. Not because we have, you know that all the resources and the sumber asli uh, is go to whose hand? Uh? Whose pocket? Uh? You know? <laughs> huh? It's uh, all is because the politicians who are make Actually, we are country is making the GDP is good, everything is good, but the money. But we don't feel it, right? They always we say are not enjoying the money. We yeah. are not enjoying the fun. It is some people who are the politicians who are enjoying. Okay, you are our getting people. Me. You are getting me the, the fire already. Okay, this is the fire. Every year, I I fucking hate seeing this. Economists say, "Wow, our GDP the best. We are growing three percent, four percent, five percent. Why are we still having trouble?" Getting paid minimum wage. Why is that still a problem? Why is states like Kelantan, Terengganu barely have enough to, to, to eat, man? And, and people, all these politicians say, well, look at us, we are still growing as Malaysia. Like, you see the, dispar- the, 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 the disconnect there. And it's, let's be honest, now, our country is <sighs> very corrupt. <laughs> to be yeah, it's a, the corruption is just like. Uh, yeah. Luck, uh, actually, Malaysia is quite a lucky place. Eh. We actually we we have this uh, the the sumber asli the, the resources, resources the right. resources. It's These are the only thing that that continue to bring us. Uh, the corruption actually is quite big, but we still have this kind of life, bro. We are thanks God already, you know. It's it's it goes to show how how much natural resource we have that we are still able to live like this. We're not. We did not end up like I don't know like uh, uh Cambodia or like. Uh, Vietnam, all this, where every of their natural resources get sucked up by the pe- by the corrupt people, and the people barely have anything anymore. We still have all these good things, uh, like twin tower <laughs> and all this twin stuff. tower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, twin tower. But we could be so much more if only all the things that we were supposed to get, we get. If let's say. We de- I dare to say out lah. Oh, if okay. let's say... <laughs> careful, careful, okay. careful. <laughs> if let's, let's say, say go to jail. without the politician, the, the previous politician people... The previous... Uh, the previous uh, com- the, uh, the Dr. M. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, without this group of people, uh, our country will become better. Serious what? I mean... Uh, the, because the Dr. M who are come up the corruption system... It's his core his system. It's not one people to do a corruption. No, no, later he summon you. Uh, he will sue you. <laughs> He's suing Anwar Ibrahim already. You know? <laughs> it's come up the entire system. You, you know the entire system is from the head, from the top to bottom. This kind of system. It's not one man can do that, you know. It's very got very powerful people and intelligent people who are, can form up the whole system. And then take over the system and take advantage of it. Lo. Yes. Look, Here's the thing. I, 
I don't like Mahade. It's it's I obvious. We don't like Mahade that much, lah. <laughs> But I also will say that I'm not really a big fan of uh, uh, Singapore's PM as well. I feel equally he's also a bit of a power hungry yeah, person. Same, same one la. It's more or less the same. <laughs> However, at least you know, uh, PM Lee has the foresight to understand that in order to grow and really become like a a a, a country that's uh, you know can be considered at the level of international level, he knew what he had to do to build that up. He knew that he needs to provide all the social benefits to the people and and, and ensure that Singapore becomes a really a, a, a modern country, lah. And I will give him props for them. There is a, there is his uh, uh, the good thing that Singapore had. Nevertheless, I never I don't really <laughs> like that kind of like leadership person, lah. Same like Xi Xi Jinping. Yes, he built up China to become really one of the biggest countries that superpower. But I don't really like President Xi also <laughs> as a person. Actually, not Xi. Uh, he is the one who are make China better because he is the one who are, who are. I mean, the uh, the highest. What do you call that? The Chinese, the the presidents are mm. uh, the previous presidents the and the previous la. previous the group people who are make it one. It's I mean, not Xi Jinping make it one. Of ma. course, lah. But he is the face of the modern China. What? So that so the 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 cha- the moving forward of China becoming the the superpower it is now. The chi- China maybe we talk talk about. But that's a separate thing, lah. The, 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 the door is now. going to close sep- closing soon, you know. Now China. No, eh, don't say lah. You always say, oh Singapore, eh, China is going to die or what? Eh, eh. The best part is still in the best <laughs> to living is in Malaysia, you know. <laughs> well, we'll see about that, lah. We are Malaysian. <laughs> <laughs> well, back to Ch- Singapore and, and Malaysia. They are, again, both leaders, as individuals, they are classmate, ma. <laughs> Mister Lee and Doctor M, classmate, ma. <laughs> the co- uh, university mate, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Malaya from brotherly rivalry. Actually, <laughs> you we can consider like the trajectory of Malaysia as a country really reflects these two as individuals, lah. Right, like you know, they want to be together, but they don't want to be together. <laughs> but, but, uh. Uh, Miss, Mr. Lee already passed away la. but the, oh, uh, the, the other guy <laughs> the other guy who, who are still are want to come back uh. but Dr. Mahade still uh, want to come back uh. you want to come back I don't know what just just, just retire la. this guy cannot la. no la, no la. I have too much already actually we have a lot of episodes talking Dr. M Dr. M Dr. M you know I mean he's uh, he's our third car- third host <laughs> Our enemies, yeah. <laughs> our, our, our our broadcast enemy. <laughs> uh, yeah. But I mean, again, we we we're not trying to reignite the discussion of which is better, Malaysia or Singapore, or anything like that. Mm. But it is important to understand that, despite the similarities, there are obvious good and bad for each country. You know, mm-hmm. and and with the recent Jocelyn Chia case, it, it I think it really reignites that discussion of like, you know. Singapore and Malaysia, we're not so different after all, you know. Yeah. We are really we eat in the morning. Maybe Singapore eat bihun, we eat nasi lemak. Maybe sometimes you are chance to bihun, right? Nasi I lemak. mean, we are more in common than we we, we are say. under British co- uh, colony yes. before. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, we have more in common, and based on the reaction on the people here, sixty and, and years we are one country, one ringgit to one 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 dollar ten cents dollar, right? Last time, chill, bro, chill, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you want to reunite the country already, ah? You want to lead the revolution, is it? Very <laughs> 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 revolution, <laughs> no, <laughs> But yeah, again, like I said, <sighs> the the recent response to like our Justin Chia video shows that when we are united, we can be really united against a common ground, lah. Mm-hmm. It goes to show that maybe we're not that. It doesn't have to be so different between Singapore and Malaysia. But knowing when I say that. There will always be animosity be- between the two countries, lah. There will always be a rivalry, lah. We, uh, I don't know, man. It's like, uh, will that ever go away? Hmm, I don't know, lah. Like right now, maybe we seem like we're together. Just come back to Josly. I think at least she do something, have some regret what she had say, lah. Right. I, I I don't know. Because sometimes uh, the strategies, uh, this thing, 
it's not so fun to make as a joke. Right? It is actually is a it, they are trying to I know that the comedy is try to make something is like or to do the something is like the the, the age aging. Uh, uh, try to do something the hot topic ma. Uh, uh, maybe they want to do something. But after that a lot of people to hate you, a lot of people to I mean uh, um, to criticize you, then you pull it back and then say say sorry, not one sorry words to the public and then go back to the normal. Why? We think you uh, she will ever do that, right? <laughs> if let's say for me, yeah, just apologize to the public. Yeah, you you admit you admit you are wrong. I think the voice will coming down. I don't think she will, uh, Honestly, if I'm being honest, I don't think she will. She 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 does she doesn't seem like the type to back down from this. It's a time. Seriously, it's a time. I, no, I do not I mean, yet. You? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I be, I I think one day she 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 will be regret. One day, maybe like down the line, maybe years ahead, maybe. Right now, no, she I'm for sure hundred percent she will write this until she can. Because so many people are using Malaysia and Singapore to do the comparison and uh laughing at Malaysia or maybe laughing at Singapore, a lot of comedies and do that. And see you can see a lot. I mean, I mean Malaysian and the, the Kuma also. Yeah, I mean also, look you know Kuma the, the Singaporeans uh, com- the other comedies, they are yeah. also doing that also. I mean we, we make fun of each other, of course. Mm. That's that one is doesn't matter. It's but okay. Of course so there fun. is a line la. There is a line in terms of like the tragedies that when you want to make a joke or the situation or, or what it in, what the situations around it. Just be more understanding in that sense, no? Mm-hmm. But again, I don't think she will <laughs> Apologize for anything. <laughs> we see lah. Actually, I uh, also. See. I, I'm quite interested to see the where she goes after this man. We really crying. Oh, do I'm sorry, you think, man. You think she will post? I'm man? sorry, Malaysian <laughs> people. I, actually, that time I so regret. I just put it in my heart. I so I so sorry about it. <laughs> you just want to see her cry, is it? <laughs> the apology TikTok apology video. Uh, apology <laughs> video. Maybe it's uh, the that one is uh, the AI. <laughs> maybe maybe the AI. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, uh, okay lah. Let's just the boiling it down. There is something beautiful that came out of this fiasco, uh, like mm. this, this, this kind of weird uh, situation with Jocelyn. It is that to see uh, Malaysia and Singapore becoming very united. Yeah, it, we are friends. Uh. At, 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 at least we unite. There is a possibility for us to really become together there lah. But how long will it last? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know ah. Uh, until today, uh, 2023, uh, we're still selling waters uh, to Singapore. Uh. To Singapore, you know. How many years uh, we are selling the water? Yeah, everyone, every year, someone will make the if joke. Say, uh, really we stop we stop selling. Uh, <laughs> you see what happened? Right? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, we stop you know, selling. Uh. You know, last time, our Dr. M got treated Singapore, you know. It's so high. Uh, uh, I stopped to sell the waters for you. you then know. you know, uh, then you know. <laughs> Bro, why are you so childish, man? <laughs> like, serious. You are a leader of a country. You want to talk like this one? Serious, and that's it. But now, Singapore, they, are, they, are, they convert the, the, the sea water. Now, they say, oh, you drink poop water, is it? <laughs> good, man. So, water, good, what? Good for your body. Uh, the so, hydrations. <laughs> I, uh, we, we always just focus on the, the badness of each other uh, when, when there, there is so much good that we can share between the two countries. But imagine, man, like if we have a similar freedom of movement between countries like the EU has. Mm-mm. Like EU countries, you can easily go from like one EU country to the next EU country without you know, passport. passport and everything, right? Ah, uh, this thing uh, remind me us, uh, remind me, uh, if the old time now, we go to go Singapore, it's without the passport one, you know? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the back Johorians, the- yeah, they're using the, the IC. You only. can just go with IC, right? Uh, yeah, IC. And then the, the Kelantan or Kuantan people, uh, they are the the north northern side one uh, They are using the IC to go to Thailand. Ah. It's uh, same also. But now it's but become no like no benefit for for Kuala Lumpur Kuala Lumpur people uh. Well, we got the fourteen uh, with the most prestigious. <laughs> <laughs> we go Putrajaya. No need the IC uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like a different country. Uh. <laughs> different country. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I think we talk enough. We're almost an hour. I don't think people will. <laughs> I don't know if people will stand with us for that long. But before we end this episode, we just want to say uh, again, thank you to all the for all the people who watched on our previous episode. The views is unexpected. Okay. I hope means 
hope uh, you guys can subscribe and like our channels because yes. we are need your support. We can do more longer and lasting because we also want to earn a living, especially in Malaysia. We are poor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true. Uh. <laughs> but again, yes, as Akit said, if you watch this and you enjoy the content, we do appreciate the, the subscription. Subscribe to our, our channel, like, comment as well. We love reading comments. And, and uh, as you can see, if you comment, we will talk about it on our videos uh, because, you know, it's fun to talk. You know? mm -hmm. and, and we do enjoy your comments and we do enjoy your opinions and thoughts. Again, on this video, if you enjoyed it, you know, <laughs> if it doesn't hit as much la, it's at least we tried you know <laughs> but do subscribe if you watched it and do comment if you have something to say and uh, we will see you guys on the next episode thank you and goodbye